Right, I'm thinking first. I got this um, 3D printed gearbox, which is um, it's actually really cool. Um, the guy who designed it. Um, the guy who designed it is uh, on uh, YouTube. Um, thinking of us as uh, gears down for what? Well, I had to scale down the um, panic gears, the little, you know, one, two, three, four. I had to scale them down a little bit just so that it would wouldn't be too tight. But um, it actually works really well. Um, I don't know if I can turn to one hand. Or it's a bit difficult. Um, so I'm uh, trying to hold it. Finger, but yeah, it's a very snug fit. <clears throat> They're very snug. Um, <clears throat> so what I was, what I've done actually, I scaled this up to on the computer. I've scaled this thing up to 1.72, so it's actually about well, so it's almost twice the size, but not quite. Because I want to uh, use the gearbox uh, for the mini for a mini laser I'm making at the moment. Um, if I stick a screw oh, electric screwdriver on it, you you can see it works pretty well. Let's put the electric screwdriver on it. Hang on. Um, I get a bit of wobble on this unless I engage the thing properly. But I'll see if I can get it to. So let's right. Oh, my button's not on. Let's go anti-clockwise. So it works really well. The way it works, ooh, I'm dropping the damn thing out. Um, is the outside rings rotate at different speeds? Well. Oh, uh, in different directions, I should say. Um, the outside middle ring is going around, and I'm holding, I'm holding the end ring while the middle one is going around. If I hold the middle ring, then the end ones will go around. So yeah. So what I could do is um, <coughs> mount this into a, a, a bracket so the end ones are being held stationary to anchor it and then use a drill to rotate, uh, a power motor or a drill or something to rotate the middle one, then have a pulley or a belt drive on the mi middle of the centre to drive a shaft, um, to drive a mini lathe chuck basically. So yeah. Anyway, it came out really well, so you can see the detail of the gears is really good. Yeah. So anyway, I scaled it up, and I've got to print that one next. Um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so that's just a little video update. I did actually print a cranky, uh, a crank one here, which is pretty big, and. Uh, a hand crank thing. This is, but this is 1,007. Uh, it's 1,379 turns to one, which is no good for the lid. <laughs> yeah, because you can turn this thing to your hat really quite fast, and uh, and the output really hardly moves. So anyway, that that works well. But yeah, it's just it's hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> As you can imagine, I'm holding a phone. <laughs> right, so anyway, uh, that's just where I am at the moment. Um, okay, thanks for watching.